G'day everyone and welcome to another episode. Today I'm come down to the Ongaprunga River. It's looking fantastic. Look at this. Half an hour to go for high tide. And back in, I think it was January or February, there was that exact same scenario. So it's right up against the edge there. Massive drop off. I'm excited. Let's see what today brings. Chasing brim, and I was sort of, you know, I wasn't uh, keen at getting up early. It's a Saturday morning. Current time is eight o'clock, and half an hour's time. It's high tide. Quite a decent one as well. So I'm hoping I can find a decent sized brim along this edge. Just hopefully I can get down there without slipping down there. Whoa, that's that black stuff that's not very good to be walking on. There we go. It's the last time I come here back in the summertime, you would have seen I caught one right here, right by the drain. So this is where I'm going to flick my first one. Starting off with a risky critter in the bait junkie range. Bait junkie jig heads as well. I've switched it up now. I've sort of gone away from the TTs, have gone to the bait junkie jig heads. They lock on them much better. I haven't had any pantsing going on with the with the fish pantsing the lure. Six pound braid in the Berkeley and the uh, six pound leader black magic. Yeah, let's see. In this scenario, you don't need to cast very far at all. I'm happy with that cast. I haven't fished the morning very much here during winter. I sort of prefer in the afternoon. It was such a massive tide this morning, still ripping in, that I'll take the chance. I much prefer that minnow in the mud blood. It's the mud blood risky critter, but the, uh, the minnow is a lot better with the action. Unfortunately, I can't find it no more. That's the thing. Some of these plastics they sell, they seem to disappear, especially the ones I like. I might put a different colour lure on, just in case it's a colour. I haven't got any hits yet. Had about a dozen casts. I mean, it sounds light on, but I definitely want to get early hits. So I'm going to put a uh, hurricane on. So I'm going to put my old favourite on from probably over a year and a half ago. I was using these, the Machete UV, it's a Sprat 75, and it went absolutely bananas. Let's see if it goes bananas this morning. You can't even get the soft plastic off. These jig heads are that good. Well, that took, that took longer than I wanted to. You had to rip the plastic right off. That's how good those jig heads are, but it's hard to change plastics. There's always ups and downsides of things. We'll launch that out there and see what happens. A flick bait. I might turn them on. Another colour change. Go on the uh, to a sickle UV in the paddle tail. A bit quiet on the surface, that's what worries me. Normally you see something on the surface matching, but yeah. The onk is a funny river. Shouldn't be too much longer. Should get a hit soon. I think right on the tide, you just don't get anything. I think when it starts going out, I'll start getting fish, pretty sure. In fact, in winter time, I have caught most of my fish in the afternoon. It could be a long day. Up, I didn't get the hook up, but finally. Yes, we're on the board. Not a bad start, only took an hour, but we're on the board. There you have it, nice one pinned in the front of the... God, don't normally pin get pinned in there. Hurricane Sprat, and I might just get my idometer in because I underestimated some of these before. Let's get the let's get the odometer in. 
so it's a 26 centimeter brim nice clear water look at that see you later you ripper yes on the board it took over an hour to get the first fish but not a bad hit unfortunately didn't get a hook up on camera because i'm not filming for an hour and a half that was on that bait junkie, uh, not bait junkie, Hurricane Sprat Pedal Tail. That's the sickle UV. Go and check that. Those lures are pretty good. I, I, I'm in love with them actually when they work. <laughs> but yeah, no, got smashed on the uh, Hurricane Sprat. Well, that was a bit of a walk. This is the, uh, I don't think I've fished here before, I'm not sure, I can't remember what I did when I was growing up, anyway, I um, haven't caught a brim since 9.30 this morning, so I've tried various parts of the river, different lures, I think it's been four and a half hours since I've had a fish, so just hope the afternoon brings me something. I've gone the uh, watermelon grub now. I'm getting desperate. So I'm putting the grub on. I've never fished this side before. Not this side. I'm not near Perry's Bend. Might lose a lure yet. It might be snaggy as all sorts over here. Well, I've had lunch. Got a new container scent so we'll see how we go got him that's a decent fish hope I've got a good hook set Yes, nice brim. Oh, he's smashed that right down. How's that? Jeez, three, two, one. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's a nice legal brim. He smashed that plastic. How's that? Just move spots straight away. First cast in this new spot. <laughs> Definitely getting a measure. I need to get those pies out too. We'll have a look at him. There it is there. Oh yeah, he smashed that right down. And that nice hurricane sprat. Look at that. I can get a photo of that one. I reckon that's close to 30 centimetres. No, I'll go 20, oh, maybe 29. Yeah, 29 and a half. If not 30. <laughs> well, there you go. It was bloody basically a 30 centimetre. First cast in this little ledge here. The ripper, I was falling asleep. Oh, I will send him away back without hurting myself. There we have it. Nice fish. Put him back. Been about five hours since I got one. I'm gonna get down here somewhere. Oh, it's gonna be, a, it's gonna be a three, two, one job straight in. Oh, I end up in the drink. <laughs> it's extremely slippery. No. Oh. Again, I don't think you get two in the same spot. Who knows? Oh, at first I thought I was snagged. And then it's going to bang. I was just hoping to land it, man. Yeah. Oh. Well, see if there's another one hiding out there. 
good hit too it was and it's look how far they smashed that soft plastic right down jig head and everything oh i think i've found a patch of them a whole heap of people just here fishing maybe they chucked in some burly almost had two brim and two casts go back out there unless they're running over a snag or something as soon as it hit the water the tide has just turned, it's on its way back in again, it's just gone low tide about 15 minutes ago. So that's amazing isn't it? When it, t when it turned this morning, first fish and now it's turned again, second fish, it's one of those days. I reckon I'm running over a snag. And that's how I pulled that fish out. That wouldn't be fish every time there. I reckon that's a snag. One more fish to make a session, I think. I like three. It's good to finish off with three. Just scoop the fish out there. gone leader gone so that will be the <laughs> that's it for the day yeah i don't tie leader on this late in the day i'm buggered i've been up since 3 30 and that's 4 30 now if not five o'clock so that will do so unfortunately today it was only uh, only the two brim one at uh, 9.30 this morning um, and then the other one was six hours later almost six hours later I caught the second fish and I covered quite a fair area uh, along the Onkapunga River today definitely got my steps up probably walked about six kilometres all up and tried various lures but the one that got the job done today was the paddle tail the sickle UV by Hurricane Sprat. Gotta be happy with that. So until next time, catch us in the next one.